In this Learning Byte, for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at the Launchpad, which runs on the client PCs that have been joined to the SBS environment. For more information about connecting computers to your SBS server, check out our other Learning Byte video on the Connect Computer Wizard. So I wanted to run through the different aspects of the Launchpad with you. Here at the top, we can open a short menu, which basically gives us some settings for the Launchpad. By default, it will start up automatically when you log into Windows. And this is a user-specific setting. So if multiple users share a computer, they can choose whether Launchpad starts or doesn't uh, on a per login basis. Also, you can set the scope of alerts. You can either turn alerts off entirely, or you can set it to show you alerts that apply to this local computer only. If you have permissions to view network-wide alerts, you can also set it to show all alerts across uh, the network, not just for the local PC. And finally, you have the ability to go ahead and send feedback information to Microsoft to provide some statistics on how the Launchpad is being used. The main features of the Launchpad include interacting with the client PC backup. From here, the user can start a manual backup and can also see the last time a backup was run. Backups, by default, run automatically every day. And you can also choose whether or not to wake the computer if it's in a sleep or hibernation mode in order to run that scheduled backup. Next, we have a quick link to launch the remote web access. And again, this provides users with the ability to connect to the resources on the SBS server from virtually anywhere, anytime that they have an internet connection. Again, to see more about remote web access, please check out our other Learning Byte topic. Next, we have a quick jumping off point to access the shared folders on the SBS server. There are a couple of folders created by default, including the company folder, as well as the user's shared folder, which has a directory for each user that's part of the SBS environment. These folders are restricted so that you can only see the contents for your own folder. I've also created a couple of other shared folders, including one for the marketing and sales departments. And of course, you can customize whatever shared folders are appropriate for your environment. Next, we have the ability to start the dashboard for doing administration of the SBS server. This does require administrative access. And I would actually highly encourage you, even as an administrative user, to have two logins that you can use. One to do day-to-day -day tasks as a standard user, and then one that you can use to sign into the dashboard that will let you do the administration that you need to do. The dashboard runs as a remote application and displays as if it is running locally on your PC. But you can see a little uh, icon and you can also see in the title for the task that it is running remotely. The last thing I wanted to show you about the Launchpad was just the alert viewer. You can see a quick summary in the bottom corner of the Launchpad itself. And when you double click on that, you can open it up to see a list of the alerts that apply to this computer. Again, if this user had access to network-wide alerts, they would see alerts for all the computers in the SBS environment, but they could choose to filter it by just this single computer. In this case, there are a couple of alerts that need attention, and this really helps end users to fix their own problems. As an example, we have alert that the network firewall is turned off and some steps that can be performed to address the issue. This would allow the user to go ahead and resolve these issues on their own without the need of administrative support. And finally, the Launchpad has an icon in the taskbar, which you can use to open the Launchpad if it's been closed, to go ahead and open the dashboard, and also to, to view the alerts. So that's a quick summary of the Launchpad in the SBS 2011 Essentials environment. Thank you for watching this Learning Byte video, and I hope you'll join us for future videos.